Here is a pie chart about the way a group of students comes to school. Study the chart and answer the guide questions. Letter A. What percentage of the students go to school by bus? Letter B. How many students go to school on foot? Letter C. How many students are in this surveyed group? And letter D. What fraction of the students go to school by metro? You can always pause this video and take as much time as you need. If you're ready, let's go ahead and check your answers. For the first question, we need to find the percentage of the student who go to school by bus, which is pretty easy. All we have to do is add the percentage of all the other ways the students go to school. 7 add to 13 plus 40 plus 10 Altogether, we have a total of 70%. So if one whole circle makes up 100%, therefore 30% of the students go to school by bus. Next, how many students go to school on foot? With this question, you can choose to work hard or work smart. Let's do the easiest way. We can use the information we acquired earlier. 30% of the students who go to school by bus is 60. So look at the relationship between the percentage to the number of students. From 30 to 60. The number in percentage is just multiplied by 2. It means if 7% of them go on foot, that would be 14 students. We might as well write the number of students for all the other categories. 13% of them go to school by bicycle, which makes 26 students. By car, 40%, which is equals to 80 students. And 10% by metro, that makes 20 students. So how many students are in this surveyed group? Let's add 14 plus 26 plus 80 plus 20 and 60. We get a total of 200 students. So for our last question, what fraction of the students go to school by metro? That would be 20 out of 200 or 1 over 10. So tell me, were you able to answer most questions correctly? I'm sure you did great. Here is a pie graph or a pie chart about the different bird species in the bird park. Study the chart and answer the guide questions. Letter A. How many birds are not parrots? Letter B. What percentage of the birds are not parrots? Letter C. How many parrots are there? And letter D. What percentage of the birds are ducks? You can always pause this video and take as much time as you need. If you're ready, let's go ahead and check your answers. For the first question, we need to find how many birds are not parrots. To do that, we simply add the number of pigeons, ducks, eagles, and sparrows. 90 pigeons plus 60 ducks added to 80 eagles and 120 sparrows. Altogether, a total of 350 birds are not parrots. What percentage of these birds are not parrots? Since the pie graph shows 30% of the birds are parrots, therefore all the other birds combined make up 70%. So, how many parrots are there? To answer this question, we must first find how many birds are there in total. Then, subtract the number of birds that are not parrots. But how do we find the total number of birds? From the pie chart, 70% of the total number of birds is 350. Let n be the total number of birds. 70% can be expressed as 70 over 100. To find the value of n, we take 350 
to be multiplied by the reciprocal of 70%, which is 100 over 70. We can do cross cancellation to reduce the number. We can have five groups of 70 in 350. We now have 5 times 100, which gives us 500. It means there are 500 birds in total. And if we subtract 350 birds that are not parrots, therefore the remaining 150 birds are parrots. Lastly, what percentage of the birds are ducks? To find the percentage, we identify the fraction and then multiply it by 100. From the given information, there are 60 ducks out of 500 birds in total to be multiplied by 100. We can just cross out the zeros. Now we only have 60 to be divided by 5, which gives a quotient of 12 or 12%. 12% of the birds are ducks. Are you ready for an extra challenge? Study the pie graph about the student's favorite subject. The ratio of the students that favored science to PE to English to mathematics is 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 5. Here are the guide questions. Letter A. How many students liked math the most? Letter B. What fraction of the students liked PE? Letter C. What percentage of the students liked English? And letter D. What is the ratio of the students who preferred math to social studies? To help us answer each question, it is best to find out the number of students for each subject, as well as the total number of students in this surveyed group. The pie graph shows 40 students for PE that comprise two units from the given ratio. It goes to show that one unit for science is equal to 20 students. Three units for English is equal to 60 students and five units for math is equal to 100 students. Add all these numbers to 80 students who like social studies, we get a total of 300 students. Now we are ready to answer the guide questions. How many students liked math the most? Clearly 100 students like math the most. What fraction of the students like PE? 40 out of 300 students like PE. This fraction can still be reduced to 2 over 15. What percentage of the students liked English? 60 out of 300 students like English. So to get the percentage, we multiply this fraction by 100. Cross the two zeros out, we are left with 60 to be divided by 3, which is equal to 20 or 20%. 20 the ratio of the students who preferred math to social studies would be 100 is to 80, or 5 is to 4. And there you have it. I do hope that by now you have a better understanding of how to interpret the pie chart. If you need help in constructing a pie chart, you can watch the video in the link below.